A month ago, I gave myself the challenge of rebuilding my bank on RuneScape, starting with nothing but an AGS. During this challenge, I'm not allowed to put anything in the bank, which means I have to risk everything I have at all times. In the last video, I unlocked the Infernal Cape, and now it's time to sell that entire Inferno setup, rebuy a PKing setup, and go out there and risk it all again in the chase of further money and further upgrades. Look how much value we lost by getting the Infernal Cape, 558 mil. I'm pretty sure we were lost valued at like 590 mil or something, but obviously we said bye to the Blood Shard, we destroyed a couple things, lost GP. It is what it is, but we don't need all of these items for a max set. So we're gonna sell everything and see where we're at. I think I bought everything at its peak because of DT2, dude. I'm such an idiot. I don't know what my cash stack was before with the Bofa and everything else. I really can't remember. I think everything has risen since I last sold my set as well. The Void Waker was certainly not 160 mil. So not only have I lost money getting the cape, every single item has become more expensive as well. But let's try and buy everything while we can. To unlock the Vernic Defender, I have to actually buy the Vernic Defender help myself, so I'm gonna spend the money on it. 88 mil, 82 mil. This is an unlock that pretty much just cost me 82 mil. I'm not gonna have to go get the Dragon Dagger myself because there's no real risk involved. With the Inferno, I had to really work for it. And with the Mage Cape too, I could die for everything. The Dragon Defender is just a matter of time, so I'm just gonna make it an 82 mil unlock. There we go. Gotta get our Barrow's Gloves back. Now, can I get a setup with the Karasi, Avernic Defender, and Dragon Claws? I actually think I can. 88 mil just about for Dragon Claws. We have 38 mil to spend left, so we gotta be careful now. Okay, I'm actually gonna get a Mage's Book instead of the Elodinus Ward this time around. I wanna get the Fang if I can too. How much is it at? 34 mil, please just buy for that much. 33 mil just about. I don't even know how I'm gonna have these switches, dude. I guess I could use the Crystal Shield for now. It actually is good range defense. And that's all I pretty much need it for. Yeah, I'm gonna use the Crystal Shield, to be honest. Let me get some Dragon Boots, too. Some part of me didn't want to Trover Parchment, the Defender, and the Infernal Cape just to add that extra risk, but I'm gonna do it. And it is time to go PKing again, the first time I'm gonna be PKing with an Infernal Cape on this series. Dude, there's no way there's someone right away, bro. Oh, fuck. That would be so nice, bro. That would be so nice. <laughs> the first little guy I get on, and I just fucking three hit them. Damn, that's so sad. That's so. I don't even have my fucking infernal cape on, bro. What's wrong with me? Yeah, it is. It is. I was I was debating not parching it for the series, but if I die, dude, why do I feel like he's yet? <laughs> there it was. He's going for the freeze lock. I'm not eating, bro. If he wants to hit me that, he can. I'm not eating. Dude, actually, I should be a little bit careful. I just haven't PK'd in a long time, you know? <laughs> No, you bitch. No, surely you go for the AGS mall. Oh, I've got public on the fucking... Damn it. Jesus cunt, he said. <laughs> Jesus cunt. Today's video is once again brought to you by Manscaped. I've been using Manscaped for literal years, from my balls, from my beard, and pretty much everything in between. And that's where their new Platinum Package 4.0 comes in. From razors to shower care, this package goes above the gold standard for your body hair. So treat your beautiful boys to the world's finest toys at manscaped.com and use my code DITTER20 for 20% off plus free shipping. I've been using Manscaped packages for my daily grooming routine for as long as I can remember, and this Platinum Package 4.0 will do just the same for you with the most elite products. You'll get the Lawn Mower 4.0 as well as the Weed Whacker and Nose Hair Trimmer, both being waterproof and coming with skin safe technology. You'll get the ultra premium body wash and the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner for your daily shower routine. And they also throw in a deodorant, a ball deodorant, a ball toner, and a pair of boxers to make sure your balls are all good. And they have this all to store in your trusty travel bag, which is also provided. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code DITTER20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code DITTER20.
Hoop Muncher. Crossy! Good fight. <laughs> oh my god, bro! Dude, that's the. There's a 67. That's the fucking a verdict inferno right there. Alright, how much is the first kill we've gotten with this new setup? That was crazy, dude. Oh, the 9.1 mil PK, the first PK with the new setup. That was mad. As much as I'd love to use the call, I don't know how I'm gonna fit it in with all my inventory slots right now. But we are back at a 10.8 mil cash deck. With the Infernal Cape, I can now hit 69s with the Karasi and 74 with the Dragon Claws. All right, we got the Blood Shard back, which is very good because I don't really like eating in the setup. I just like doing DPS. So if the Blood Shard can heal me, I'll definitely take it. I'm fighting my friend Jason or 61 mil here, but he has no idea it's me because of the name change. That claw on 70 was a good chance, but as you guys can see, with all these switches and just such little defense bonus, I run out of food very, very quickly, and as much as I want to stay, I just can't afford to. Ooh, a boner to try out my new gear on. This is just what I wanted. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my, what? I don't know, dude, but I got the both already for it, you know? <laughs> Bro, that is mad, you know? Two mil as well, <laughs> damn. Damn, 200 superior dragon bones, god damn. Ooh, this is an Aussie world. Crossy? Claws. No way he didn't change prayers. What? I was up 200 damage on this guy, but he managed to get out. Literally splash every fucking freeze, bro. I kept rematching him, but when I get low on food, it starts to get real sus. Damn, this guy's actually gonna give us a fight. Good luck to him, YXM. I guess he realizes I'm risking like 400 mil. And he wants his chance at it. Fair enough. Fair enough, my friend. Let's see what I hit him there. Damn. He's probably gonna pray melee there. Damn, he didn't. What the hell? Going for a freeze. Maybe a rapier hit there. 30. Chop a smite. Okay, he's praying the right things. Let's see what he's gonna pray here. Come on, Fang. Pop him like it's hot. Just wanna get a couple of consistent hits, and then I'm gonna go in for a spec. Pretty quickly, I'd imagine. Hopefully he doesn't have a crossy. Claw that. Into the crossy. Oh, that could have been it. Into the fang. That's a nice heal off the blood fury. Come on. Oh, I've got a pray melee there. I just have to. Dead. Freeze that. Nice. Fang. I'm so scared he's gonna AGS me or something. Dead, 44. Come on. Come on. Dude. I've got to eat here. Just 
Nice. Come on, Fang. Go off. Nice. He's gonna be brewed down here. Holy fuck, dude. The damage I've done on this guy is actually disgusting. It's genuinely disgusting. One, two, three. Damn, no way I splashed that. That was so much damage, dude. Dead. Please. Oh my god, I still killed him, bro. That was so much damage. I just did like 600 damage. That was the full force of this gear. Real quick, guys. Remember to subscribe if you're enjoying the video so far. Also, Deadman Mode starts this Friday, and a lot of people have been asking me if they can help me out in some way, whether it's the 10k at the start or some other stuff. I've linked my Discord in the description down below. Join up, I'll have some more info about DMM in there, as well as at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. What do we get? 9.5 mil, that's very, very nice. And unfortunately, that freeze is all he needed to escape from me. He can just walk under and log out. You can see I'm up 400 damage. I've done 600 damage. He's probably out of food, if not close to out of food, and he manages to get out. Dead. Dead. What?
out, I might actually die. Good fight. GG. GG. Damn, I actually died. That's crazy, I just lost everything. No way, bro, that's so sad. I just got, I just overstayed versus AGS2 and I died. Damn. So yeah, that happened. I literally just got the Infernal Cape as well, which makes it that much sadder. I was just so excited to go PK. I'm sure you guys could tell. Pretty much every fight I was overstaying and taking stupid risks and I finally got caught out of food. I couldn't just run south to level 30 to Telly because I didn't have a seed pod. I've been using house tabs throughout this entire series to save inventory spaces, which means I usually have to go for the freeze, run around a tree, and log out to get the escape. But by the time I realized how low food I was, I thought maybe I could run away and get gap. Then when I realized, I tried going for the freeze, and unfortunately I splashed every single attempt, and I was dead. Now this doesn't necessarily have to be the end of the series. That part is up to you guys. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see me rebuild from this, or if you think that was a fitting enough end to the series. Regardless, Ditterman mode, or Deadman mode as some of you may call it, is starting this Friday for three weeks straight, so I'll be focusing on that first anyway. If anybody watching right now is interested in playing and helping me out with stuff on DMM, it could be as simple as getting me your starting 10K from the security stronghold. I've linked my Discord down below and I'll be dropping some messages in there shortly for people who are keen. I've also made a TikTok where you can see that full clip of me jumping off that building after I died and that's linked down below as well. So please go follow that if you wanna further support me. Apart from that, I am really sorry I died so early. I wanted to get some more footage. I hope you guys have enjoyed the series. Let's bring on DMM.